Hi everyone. Today we wanted to uh, talk about association labels. When you have more than one rec uh, record of one type associated with record of another type, it's sometimes hard to understand who is who and why there are so many records associated with that one. Uh, for example, at Lead Love, we have more than one contact for this company. And uh, sometimes it will be hard to understand who you should call, at what time you should call, uh, about what reason you should call them. And uh, association labels are a very handy tool uh, to distinguish between those things. Uh, we set up three association labels from contact to company. That will be financial contact, marketing contact, and decision maker. Uh, association labels in HubSpot are very, very flexible right now. You can uh, set them up as uh, anything you want. The main use uh, case is when uh, there's one too many association, when there's one company with many contacts, when there's one contact with many companies, and uh, that can be uh, contacts, companies, tickets, deals. <clears throat> Unfortunately, right now, you cannot uh, associate contacts with contacts, uh, companies with companies, uh, so same type of records cannot be associated with same type of records uh, at the moment. Uh, but there are definitely a uh, useful tool uh, to differentiate between, um, between records. To find and set up the association labels, you go to settings and you go to the object where you want to uh, set those association labels up. For example, contacts, uh, if you want to set up contacts to companies, uh, companies, if you want to set up companies to deals and so on. We will go to contacts and I will show you where to find that. And uh, there is a little tab called associations. You click on that. I already set up. Uh, decision maker, financial contact, marketing contact. The primary one is the default one. You cannot uh, delete or edit it. It's kind of the the main one that HubSpot sets up automatically. Um, so these labels here are only, as the name tells, uh, they are only labels. So you can edit the name and you can uh, edit what you associated with. Context to companies, context to deals, and uh, context to tickets. And you can uh, create the new ones. You uh, choose the object you associated with and uh, put the label in. <clears throat> uh, and we go back to the uh, company, company record. Uh, here you can remove association labels when you uh, click on their record here more and then more association number that uh, action would not delete the contact it will just remove it from uh, company record you can add contact here uh, you can uh, create a new or add existing let's uh, add Anastasia here and then you can choose to add association label that will be another marketing contact or if you click on manage association labels, it will go to that same settings page that we just uh, looked at. Uh, you can mark the same contact with more than one label if you would like to. You just choose them and uh, X them out uh, as you want. When you save it, you can see Anna Zhukova marketing contact. Uh, from here, it's really easy to email somebody uh, that you need. Okay, I want uh, to email marketing contacts or I want to talk to the decision maker. Uh, it's really easy to distinguish between those. Another quick use scenario that we wanted to look at is uh, companies to deals when uh, there is more than one company on the same deal. Um, our example would be a construction company that uh, has a few different uh, companies that they hire to work on different deals. So example will be architecture company, roofing company, material supplier, and concrete company. If we go back to the same settings and objects, companies, 
an association here. Companies to deals. You can see that uh, we set up architecture company, concrete company, and other uh, different companies. The primary one is the, as we mentioned before, is a uh, default HubSpot one. So that's uh, how you set, it, uh, set up the association labels for different records, and you can add them here or remove the association labels or edit them uh, here as well. And uh, your records are very organized. They are easy to uh, understand. For example, we, need, we have a roofing problem problem or uh, something is delayed, we can call GJ Roofing because we know that's uh, the roofing company. I mean, names are not always as obvious as this one, but um, it's much easier to <clears throat> keep uh, track of everything when you have association labels in place. If you have any questions, please uh, comment and subscribe to our channel.